Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to do something a little bit different because there's been a lot of questions in terms of where is the real estate market and specifically in Vancouver and other areas of Canada, where is the real estate market going to be in 2021? Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Hassan Juma. I'm a real estate agent in the Vancouver area. Uh, I make these videos to help you in your buying or selling journey without wasting any time. Let's get started. So this is an interesting topic for me to cover. I'm usually doing educational step-by-step -step videos, but again, I've had a lot of questions from clients and prospective clients wondering what's going to happen with the real estate market in 2021. Now to fully understand what might happen in the future, we do need to take a look at what has happened in the past year. Now I don't want to make this a COVID conversation if you will, uh, however undoubtedly it has affected the real estate market. So to start I'm going to talk about how it has affected the last 9 to 10 months or so uh, real estate in Vancouver and then what I in my opinion what I expect to see as we head into 2021. So as you all know back in March uh, COVID became sort of a mainstream factor in our lives, our livelihood and the way we were going about our day to day of course, but it was also a mainstream factor in the real estate market here in Vancouver. Now a lot of people had expected that this was absolutely going to crush the market. Uh, there was a lot of fear surrounding unemployment, a lot of fears surrounding lockdowns and when it comes to real estate not being able to show properties and um, not being able to obviously sell properties. But we actually saw real estate wise because typically March uh, is the beginning of a busy cycle for real estate. March, April, May uh, tend to be some of the busier months of the year. Uh, in fact what we saw here in Vancouver is after about a month, a uh, month and a half period of lockdown or uh, slower activity in the real estate market, uh, we saw sales uh, pick up again. There were a lot of clients that were now purchasing homes literally sight unseen, writing offers without viewing properties um, and then checking out properties one time at the inspection or foregoing inspections and purchasing properties through FaceTime videos. It was, uh, it was something uncharted territory for realtors, unexpected. I don't think anyone uh, predicted that we would have that kind of rush of home sales and it has steadily remained through uh, up until today when I'm recording this video which is in November. Now. I've spoken about this before in previous videos and this is true for all markets is one of the simplest way to look at values is to look at the relationship between supply and demand. So what has happened over the last several months here in Vancouver uh, is we have seen lower supply than typical uh, specifically in certain classes of products. Uh, so I would say detached homes. Um, there is you know a lot of supply maybe in the new construction space especially the strata space and those are areas where we where we are seeing listings maybe sitting a little bit longer uh, to sell or we're seeing prices remain uh, more stable whereas with other properties we've seen prices increase in a year where again a lot of people CMHC uh, for one we're expecting prices to decrease and a lot of it ties in uh, to the supply when you have low supply uh, and you have you know greater than normal demand or even the same demand as per normal what you're gonna see is you're gonna see sales transact quicker and when that happens uh, prices go up as well so we've actually seen prices go up this year and now there's a lot of people that are, are kinda caught in the middle because they're looking to either enter the home market they're not sure if now is a good time and they're trying to figure out what's gonna happen uh, in 2021 ahead um, I'm gonna give my best uh, opinion if you will and it is just an opinion uh, based on what I'm seeing uh, what I think is going to happen into 2021. So I did say I didn't want this to turn into a COVID conversation but I am going to start with it because it's a major major factor. The latest COVID news that we've obviously seen uh, is talks about there being a vaccine that may potentially be ready for folks uh, into next year say Q1 or Q2 of next year. I'm not going to talk about whether I think a vaccine is going to be successful whether it's going to work or anything like that um, but one thing we do need to understand again with all markets and real estate is no different is the market is based a lot on buyer and seller sentiment how are people feeling uh, what are people's thoughts and same thing with the economy right when people are feeling uh, good they're feeling confident uh, they're feeling safe they spend money um, so the reason I bring up this COVID vaccine uh, is if there is some positive 
uh, lining or a positive COVID future, I guess you could say, uh, going into 2021, I do believe that that's going to affect the real estate market. Now, how is it going to affect the real estate market? I think we're going to see a lot of sellers that have been holding off on putting their homes on the market. I think they will look to do that uh, in Q1 and Q2 of next year, provided the cases remain uh, down. I say remain, but in fact, they're actually increasing right now. So provided the cases find a, uh, a stable point, if you will, and start trending in maybe a, a lower direction, lower case counts, um, you know, sellers, they can only hold off on putting their homes on the market for so long. There's some people that didn't necessarily have to sell or plans got on hold, so they didn't. And what has ended up happening, that's the reason we've seen a lot of price increase, not just low interest rates, uh, but low supply, obviously. There's not as much for buyers to purchase. So in 2021, I think if we have some of that positivity uh, and sellers start putting more homes on the market, it's going to help to stabilize uh, the real estate market and, and some real estate pricing. Now, do I do I think that's going to happen? Uh, my personal opinion is I still think we're going to see historically low levels of inventory for a lot of different product out there. Um, again, sellers that don't need to sell, uh, they're not going to be placing their homes on the market. Even if our case counts remain kind of where they are, they start inching up in any sort of way. Uh, I really feel like there's going to be um, a hold on placing inventory on market, uh, more of a wait and see approach, whether we're uh, geared for more lockdowns in the future. I can't really say, um, but I don't necessarily see that we're going to have a surge of supply into the new year. And I think uh, a surge of supply is what we might need uh, in order for prices to come back down to a reasonable level. I, I don't see prices dropping in the first half of uh, next year just based on where I believe supply is going to be interest rates We haven't really talked about those and where those have been so uh, in the past year Obviously, we've seen historically low interest rates as well uh, I mean banks are pretty much giving away money to invest in property uh, We're seeing some rates. I've seen in the 1.5s recently the 1.6s which is just mind-boggling to me and there has actually been talk about um, negative interest rates now my personal opinion again is I don't necessarily feel that interest rates are gonna continue to drop I could be wrong but I know what a lot of you are thinking as well and I've had these conversations is you know a lot of the stuff surrounding COVID or the issues surrounding COVID unemployment uh, reduced hours for a lot of people reduce income we're not gonna see uh, the effect of this until next year um, so at that point are we gonna see um, prices come down now another thing I want to talk about is something that has always fueled the Canadian economy and the housing market uh, is immigration to Canada uh, and the federal government recently introduced or announced that they want to bring one point 2 million immigrants to Canada over the next three years. This is undoubtedly going to fuel the housing market. So again, now that's going to add increase in demand. This year has been an interesting year, obviously, for immigration in that we haven't had as many immigrants come to Canada, but the applications are as high as they've ever been. Clearly, people still want to come to Canada, and that's going to put pressure on the real estate market. And I think that's um, going to, again, increase demand for properties. And I'm really actually hoping that supply is going to be able to to keep up with the level of demand that we might see in the next year. So when you ask me, you know, what do I think is going to happen with the real estate market uh, in 2021? It's my personal opinion. I don't see prices dropping like you see uh, some groups or organizations are uh, estimating that we may see 10, 20 percent price drops, which I think would never happen. Uh, there's too big of a market for Vancouver real estate, not necessarily from locals, but uh, from across the globe, where if we saw deep discounts at that level, uh, I say discounts because there will be a lot of people that would want to purchase uh, property at those types of prices. Um, but again, I think a big factor of where 2021 goes is going to be consumer seller sentiment, especially in terms of placing their homes on market, um, because we, we definitely need that supply to increase to kind of match the demand that we're seeing, especially in the single family space. Um, also in the condo space in some areas, uh, if you are a buyer right now, perhaps you're an investor and you're looking for different areas to purchase, uh, there is a lot of inventory in you know the downtown Vancouver market. So I would suggest if you're a long-term investor, uh, maybe one of the better times to get into that downtown Vancouver market that's highly coveted and obviously has 
uh, high growth uh, appreciation historically. Uh, now, past performance is not indicative of the future, of course, uh, but there are still opportunities out there. But in general, 2021, I kind of see much of the same here. I see uh, prices continuing to rise, maybe not at the clip we've seen over the last six months, but again, a lot is going to come down to uh, inventory level uh, on the market, and it's going to come down to kind of where we're at in terms of COVID and having a handle uh, on that situation. Um, if you have any questions for me directly, feel free to reach out to me. All my contact info is in the description below. I hope you found some value in this video. Uh, if you did, I'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button below. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.